we just left the safety meeting, kind of the, the briefing meeting for this weekend at Old Bedford Village for the Wild West weekend. And uh, a lot of safety, a lot of scenarios, a lot of fun stuff. Now, Christine and I won't be able to really do much scenario wise because we're just gonna be busy working and, and making tin types and amber types. Well, it's morning time and uh, no spectators out here yet. I uh, just opened the gate. Looks like it's gonna be a good day. I almost see the sun up there through the clouds. So hopefully we won't get any rain today. And if we do, it's really short, but we're all set up, ready to go. And uh, ready to wel welcome the uh, spectators as they come in. And uh, let's, give you a, let's give you a tour of the, uh, the building we're in. Because of the rain, they allowed us, uh, they gave us a building to, to operate out of, and that is the apothecary and uh, we have everything set up in there. Now we are using our modern dark box and we're covering it up as much as possible. And that is just because, um, you know, we don't want to stain the floors. The modern dark box will, will keep any kind of spills, you know, knock on wood, we've never had a spill before, but the dark box, in case we do, it'll help keep any, uh, any of that silver from, from getting down and staying the floor. Our old houses as they are, but we don't want to contribute to how, how old they look. kind of cool that we get to sleep in an old house at Old Bedford Village. Hopefully the rain stays away. It didn't rain at all today. I mean, it rained early. It rained really bad at home, but it didn't rain since we've been here. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. And you know, Chris, it's really cool that we get to do this. And I think it's really cool that we get to live 19th century, we get to live 1880s if only for a couple days, devoid of all technology. But with that, I'll say good night. Sunday morning, good morning. What an absolutely beautiful day. Uh, not many clouds in the sky, well, a couple clouds in the sky, but not any of the clouds that really matter. You know, the dark ones that bring that rain stuff. And uh, supposedly we were supposed to have a lot of rain today and yesterday, but we got lucky yesterday. And hopefully we'll get lucky today. Hopefully we'll have the same amount of amazing people that we had yesterday. We had a ton of people and uh, made a ton of plates. So it was, uh, it was a really good day. Today is our last day at Old Bedford Village. Hey, there's Christine over there. Hi, Christine. Good morning, Martha Jane Canary here, AKA Calamity Jane. Welcome to Old Bedford Village for Wild West Weekend. Come on down and join us for lots of shootouts, fun, happiness, and maybe some killing. So come on over and join us, have some fun. 
Thank you. That's so awesome. That's wonderful. <laughs> Rain delay. <laughs> the kids are up there with the rider. We just finished. We just finished the uh, the longest line of tin types that I think we've ever had here at Old Bedford Village, and uh, I'm going to be varnishing for quite a bit of time here. But uh, we got so darn busy, and uh, then we had to start turning people away because it's after four o'clock now, and, and the village closes at five. But we had such a great time. Um, I love it when we're busy, of course, and I love it when we're not so busy because we get to hang out with a lot of the, the fine folks that also uh, have a, a, a love for history and, and telling history. So we have a, you know, we have such a great relationship with those fine folks as well. Thankfully, the rain held out, and as I said, we made a heck, a heck of a, a ton of tin types. Uh, I almost ran out of chemistry. And like I said, this is probably the most we've ever made here at this event or at the Civil War event. Real quick. Oh. Always leave it better than you found or better than they gave it to you. And we're really lucky to have uh, that old Bedford Village with the threat of the rain and, and the thunderstorms. We're really lucky that they offered us this beautiful place. This is the apothecary. And uh, we're beat, we're tired, we're dirty, we're stinky, we've got our same clothes that we came in on because why Why mess up another pair? Why make another pair of clothes dirty? 
But uh, man, we had a great weekend today, especially. Uh, usually Saturdays are the big days, but Sunday was our absolute big day. I couldn't have made three more plates. That's how low I was on chemistry. And uh, but uh, thank you, Old Bedford Village, for having us out again for. Uh, giving us a, a beautiful place to stay so that we don't have to take wet canvas home like the storm we had come through today. And um, I want to thank the, uh, the organizers of the Wild West weekend. And, uh, and with Christian and I, I want to thank all the spectators that came out, whether you uh, saw a tin type being made, amber type, or had one made to take home. Uh, you're, now, you're now on your way home with those, uh, with those tin types and amber types. And we want to say thank you for stopping by. As I said, even if you let us teach you a little bit about the history of photography, uh, you know, that really makes us tick. That really makes uh, everything worth it for us. And um, yeah, as long as everything's, uh, everything's good for next year, we will be back. It's uh, one of the best events that we do the, over the years. And, um, and just so many great questions, so many great people come up to us and uh, really love learning about the, the, the equipment that we bring out and the wet plates and stuff as well. But um, we, uh, we got out a lot later than we should have. Everything is in the car. And um, I'm just gonna finish up here and uh, we're gonna hit the road.